السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین نبینا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈیئر برادر اینڈ سسٹرز ویلکم ٹو انسپائر بائی اسلام I just like every other week, mashallah, we have an amazing guest today, inshallah. I'm sure he will influence us, also inspire us too. In our show, we have a new river brother. He just became Muslim six months ago from Romania. Uh, let me introduce him to you, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Welcome to our show. Wa alaikum salam, brother. Um, Loronto, your full name is Muhammad David Loronto, right? Yes. Okay, you're from Romania. Yes, brother. Um, it's an honor to sit with you. You became Muslim six months ago. Yeah. It's very, almost like a new baby. <laughs> oh, almost, but I'm still on the start. <laughs> You're on the start, of course. But it's always, um, because the Prophet said, when people become Muslims, the Shahada starts with a clean sheet. No yeah. sin at all. Everything is forgiven. It's almost like a new baby born. Masum, yeah. we call it. So may Allah bless you and make dua for the Ummah. It's very important. Um, if I ask you, how did you get, how did you, where did you get the influence from, or how did you become Muslim? What was the reason behind it? Oh, this is a long story, honestly, but uh, I can tell you like uh, the short version. About I meet one uh, woman in my, in my life, one important woman, and uh, she showed me the path about how to become Muslim and what is the, the Islamic, what is mean Islam, to be Islamic. And uh, from her inspiration, I was study, study, and um, I was wondering about uh, how to how do I know more because uh, we need to learn about everything step by step and uh, I go first time on the Moscow I did meet uh, brother uh, Aziz we going on the meet on the meetings or uh, was so m so much people's community about uh, new 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 Muslim new peoples about the uh, neighbor and uh, I, I was uh, start, talk, start to talk uh, with Aziz and he told me about everything and uh, ev everything what he say it was right. Fantastic. So um, the sister you actually met before mm -hmm. before you became to your Shahada, um, what did you study before you became Muslim? What did you know about Islam? I did uh, knew about, knew about, uh, about uh, Allah first time. But I learned about uh, what is mean uh, for the Muslim people's Allah. The second one, I, I uh, want to know about uh, where is, where, where is come uh, this God, how, how is come from, who is uh, who was the prophets, how they um, how they uh, pray for him, everything. And uh, I, I did uh, learn step. Easy. Mashallah, mashallah. So do you pray now. You pray? Yes. MashaAllah, that's good. Did you learn how to read Quran? Have you, have you read Quran in English yourself? Or uh, just in English, not, uh, not in Arabic, unfortunately. Just in English? Yes. Okay. Are you trying to learn Arabic now? A uh, little think? bit, but uh, now, in, unfortunately, I don't have so much time. So, <laughs> so I'm just working and uh, going home, sleep, okay. and praying. After you become Muslim, the Muslim community, how did they help you? Did they help you to uh, anything? Did they do anything for you? Or yes, did, they did you make uh, friends? Uh, what, what, tell me about it. They helped me so, so a lot, so much. They helped me about uh, show me the path, about how to do it, everything. To not uh, do mistakes. To the example before I eat so much pork, so, so much pork. And after that, uh, after that, I, wa I was stop uh, eating pork. And uh, this was right about uh, pork is not uh, not healthy. It's not good for the for um, our body. For example, before when I eat pork, always I was sick. Always I was uh, have a problems. But now I'm alright. Now I'm f fine. What was your religion before? Before Muslim? What was you? Did you used to go to church? Did you have any other faith? Did you follow anything? Uh, yes, I was go going to church as well, which family as well, and um, and I can say about uh, the two religion is uh, so different about about to each other, and uh, the the right G way is yeah. the m Islamic. Give me example difference between um, is a two difference. So, what was your belief before and now? What difference do you find? The example uh, before I was uh, believing about uh, Jesus is uh, about uh, our God, 
about our God, uh, like son, something like that. He was uh, he was uh, die for us, and uh, and this is so wrong about uh, how uh, how I was thinking. Okay, I'm going to ask you a difficult question because All right. everything we do, we've got to do it for Allah, for the Creator. That's it. No, nobody else. And you became Muslim before uh, you met a sister before. Mashallah, may Allah bless her sister. Um, and she's very lucky through her uh, convenience or the, her uh, influence you became Muslim. Did you become Muslim for her or for yourself? This is what I want to know. Here, here is, um, here she was uh, asking me to, you, you become Muslim for me Mashallah. or for her. Mashallah. And uh, she say about don't become Muslim because of me. Become Muslim if you, if you believe in your heart. And yes, I believe in my heart about that. That's, that's, that's very clear. That's very important, my brother. Um, you said Muslim community helped you. What was your idea about Muslim before you became Muslim? What was the idea about these people? Like you see all the time in the media, the negative media uh, propagandas, they are extremists, they don't look after their wives, they cover their faces, they're not friendly. You know, these kind yeah. of things are there all the time. What was your idea before you know in Muslims before before uh, I doesn't know I doesn't talk about uh, which which one Muslim in the person I was thinking about uh, they are bad they are doing something bad yes I'm t I'm telling the truth about uh, I I was thinking about something else but uh, but uh, media is uh, <coughs> sometimes lying as well the example is uh, seeing something bad and they uh, keep it pushing about uh, Yes, the, he's doing something bad. The uh, other one is doing something bad. The other one, and the, the whole community is uh, getting uh, like uh, the how was uh, the bad bad man, bad thing. Were you scared of them? Were you scared of them? Uh, honestly, no, because I kn in my heart I, I knew about uh, is we are people, so we are different, in other way. So it's not it's in a Christian as well. It's so much uh, bad people. Is good people. Okay, so good and bad in everything. No, no, that's fine. That's a good. That's a good thing. We have good and bad. Um, when you do after your shahada, what was you feeling like? Well, I, I remember I was in the same shahada as you. I was there when you took your shahada. Mashallah, I'm, I'm oh. very honoured. <laughs> I, I am honoured. I was there. I gave you the first hug, and yeah. Aziz was there too. Mashallah. After. Mashallah. Um, what was it like? What was your feelings like? You know, like you're committing yourself. Oh, the mashallah. one unknown, the one all knowledgeable and saying, look, I will serve you. That's the idea about Shahada. Yeah. I will serve you. You know, you're my master and I will serve you. So, what was it like? Oh, mashallah, it uh, was uh, so good. Like, the example, like, uh, you are clean. Yeah, like, you are starting new life, new things, which new opportunities, which everything. So, you feeling about uh, about you are what you was before the example in my case what i was before that gone and i can start new one new life new again new, new about i have now new thinking i'm not thinking how i think before i'm thinking about uh, yes first time i'm thinking about my god and second my family to be i'm i'm on the third one I know this is wrong, but I'm on the third uh, position, always. Alhamdulillah. Brother, how was your, what was the feeling like? I want to know if your spiritual feelings, your spiritual lift up when you first prayed, your first time you put your head and showed in demonstration that I am your servant and you are my master. I put my head and I sh you know, we almost showed. How, did, how was it for you? Uh, did you feel emotional? Did you cry? Did you feel, uh, what did you feel? First time I tell the truth about uh, I was confused be because uh, just now I started, but uh, on the s on the other side I was happy about uh, I, I know now how to pray I know about uh, this is good for me this is good for Allah as well, so it's not I am not going I'm not doing uh, by for myself I'm not doing uh, only me we, we are do we are doing uh, whole community. And uh, we pray for Allah, we pray, we pray about everything. Which one was your best prayer? I mean, you know, like in the beginning you're learning, that's fine. Which uh, one were you think you've done perfect and you felt perfect? 
I think the how long it took? I think two weeks. Two weeks. Until uh, I do it perfectly. Properly. Yes. yes that's in good. Alhamdulillah. So it was a long term, I know, but uh, I can I can say about uh, for learning something you need time. You know, as a Muslim, we believe God is um, eternal. He's always been there. And he's independent. He doesn't need anyone or anything. But all the creation needs him. He provides. He's a provider. He's, he, he gives. So even if we don't pray, nothing happens. He's always perfect. He's always <laughs> perfect. If everybody hates him or everybody don't pray, it doesn't matter. He's always God. He's always going to be the same. So we need him. He doesn't need us. Yeah. Um, your friends, after your shahada, your friends, your family, when they found out you're Muslim, uh, how, did they, how did they react? My friends, yes, they know about uh, I'm Muslim, and uh, this was like accepting, like uh, this was like uh, before, like this not not go away, this not push me away, they sort keep talking with me. Okay. Uh, uh, did you think that they upset? Or do you think? No. Okay. That's not at all. How about your family? My family, I. <laughs> Do I be honest, little bit I'm, I'm afraid because uh, my mom was like a uh, little bit is like uh, I can say that like uh, she's believing too much about uh, she's religion. Okay, so she's uh, okay. So she and uh, I want to tell her on the on the when I'm coming going there about yes I am. Oh, okay. she, she doesn't know yet. No, because okay. I I I doesn't have the opportunity to go on uh, my country to visit her because I'm going on Indonesia now. Okay, mashallah, that's good, brother. So, um, any brothers and sisters you have? Yes, I have one brother and one sister. Do they know you're Muslim? No, not, not yet. yet. So you're frightened that they might react? Yes, exactly. It's, it's uh, better to say for family about in front of them okay. than on the phone. Okay, okay. That's, no, no, that's a good idea, mashallah, that's a good idea. Um, okay, let's go back to... Um, what kind of stuff you read? What kind of stuff do you read? Does anyone help you in the readings? Because sometimes reading on your own is not easy, to be honest. Yes. Um, does anyone help you? I was uh, um, going on to Moscow about uh, this on this le lessons, and uh, Mashallah Aziz gave me one uh, book about uh, no, not only one, three books, <laughs> which one uh, I I learn a lot, a lot of things about how to pray, what is mean about uh, to help other people don't help only yourself because you know we are we are same we are not we, it's not different about me and about you about everyone we are same just uh, we are other uh, thinking what difference do you find what did you say you know like in when you, you you had to do a lot of sacrifice so you your family will be i don't know how they're going to take it i'm sure and um, i don't know if you used to have drink before you you had to give up your pork and and your lot of things you used to enjoy you had to give up um, um, do you think it's worth it yes absolutely it's worth it i'm not doing this um, and i doesn't do this about um, to be with my wife no i did it by my purpose about uh, i want to be and i accept it about i have to leave this food so and uh, i have to eat uh, what uh, allah say about this we need. We have to eat. But it's not. Uh, it's not uh, making us like. Uh, phew, I forget the word. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no problem. That's fine, brother. Um, have you ever felt that um, I had a lot of brothers actually um, because they became Muslim and the family left him for on his own. They said we don't want to know you anymore, <laughs> and he became isolated, alone. Some people I know, they've been kicked out of their houses uh, just because of their faith. They've been kicked out of their house. Um, Alhamdulillah, you're not in that position to yourself. How would you deal with that if that happens to you? Like your family don't accept you anymore, saying, look, you've gone a different way, I'm sorry. How would, you how would you be your reaction? As a Muslim, I want to know. To be honest, uh, you have to forgive for everyone about uh, you have to explain about why you become Muslim first time. And second of all, they have to understand that. If they cannot understand that, this is not make sense about uh, because they are your family. 
it's not like uh, it's my friend, like uh, mm. me and my friends and my friends leave me. It's okay, these are friends. But if you, your family leave you, it's a big problem. Yeah, when we become Muslim, we have more duties, but like parents, you know, we have to look after them. It becomes a duty <laughs> to look after them. Even if they're in a different faith, we have to respect them, love them, provide for them. As a Muslim, it's our duty. We have to do it. We've got no choice. We can't obey them in doing shirk, meaning if they ask you to leave your religion, we can't obey that. <laughs> but the rest of the stuff, we have to accept them. Yes. It's very, very important because that's how, that's how we please our Lord. That's how we please our Lord. Um, I don't understand. I mean, why would people not like someone that he used to drink, he give up drinking. He used to do gamble, he give up gambling. He used to have, you know, do all the bad things, you know, smoke bad things, he give up. He's this person and become a good human being. I mean, you are more better than before. You left all your, uh, I want to say garbage, but you left all those and become a better person, more thoughtful, more uh, cautious about your surrounding as well. Um, sometimes it, it bugs me. Why? Why would people not accept that person just because he's different ideas? Or you know, uh, the people are scared about new things. Always will be like that. If it's coming something new, they are afraid about maybe it's bad. But they's not going. Uh, they are not uh, thinking about uh, maybe this thing is good, not bad. They're thinking only bad things on the first time. And after that, this can change this mind. We can change the, this mind about, uh, yes, what we are doing is right. But uh, maybe this will not do that, but this will understand that and this will respect us. It's not, it's, it's people, so it's like uh, thinking. Okay, when you go back to your place, like Romania, you might, you might not have halal food. Oh, what are you going to do then? I don't know, maybe next year. <laughs> but do they have a halal food there? Um, now I'm going on to Indonesia. Okay. Oh, and there. But when you go back to Romania, you're not going to have a halal food. What are you going to do then? You're going to have vegetable only? Oh, I, I will eat on only vegetable, maybe. I will. It's like, um, or, I will, well, or I will prepare with my wife if, if she agree yeah, about okay. to come with me. So we, we, we are thinking about, about something because uh, we are some, some neighbors about uh, they have chicken, they have lot of like uh, sheep so okay so you could do it yourself yeah I'm not me <laughs> I hope my wife <laughs> okay <laughs> mashallah my brother um, I met lots of people after the Shahada or before the Shahada they they, they see amazing uh, amazing dream they see amazing things and they feel different yes the signs you know then uh, the Creator gives you signs to acknowledge the truth did you have any kind of signs like that, that you felt unusual things? Yes, uh, the example, now on 24, uh, we had to pray for our baby, because it was on the full moon. And uh, my wife was uh, shocked about uh, maybe it will be raining, because it's raining season in Indonesia. Every single day it's raining, and uh, the matter was saying about uh, it will be raining. In 24, when it wa was the praying time, it was no raining. Was, was like sunshine. Mashallah. So and uh, she invited fifty people come, like uh, more than one hundred people. Do you have any any dreams that you can sh like any inspirational dreams before or after your shahada? Yes, about like um, you know, like making your feeling strong. Now that making you it happens to people. And people it does happen. Yeah, sometimes I want to give up about. Uh, because this visa for about my vis my wife is a little bit hard. And I sometimes I'm thinking about uh, maybe we will be not success, maybe we will be not success. And so in your dreams you get, okay, do this, some kind of directions. Yes. And uh, when, when uh, I go to sleep, I wake up, I wake up like happy, like some, some, something, uh, something new thing happened. Which Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. As a Muslim, we think, because we're born as a Muslim, I was born as a Muslim, for us is praying, it's very easy, simple. We learn, we see in it, it's a practice of maybe yeah. long, long time. For you, it's very difficult. When you start praying, do you feel like uneasy? Am I doing it right? You have to count it, how many times I got up, and difficult. When someone next to you might think, what is he doing? Isn't it? Sometimes. Yes. Do you feel that? Do you feel that pressure? Do I be honest, first time uh, when uh, 
I go to Moscow to pray. I was thinking about it so easy. I tell, tell you the truth. And it was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> First, I doesn't know about uh, no, how no, go down, up. I doesn't understand when I need to go, go up, when I need to go down. Nothing. But mashallah, now I know. I remember, did, I pray, did you pray with me the first time? Uh, after Shah, um, you went to me and Aziz and you, was it? Were you yes, there? and uh, did you and Aziz uh, show me about uh, how to start like to pray. How yeah. Yes. So, you know what? This is, this is something uh, for our Muslim community to learn. When, when someone becomes Muslim, it takes, it's not easy to learn those steps. Yes. Those steps are different. It's more like uh, you're learning karate. Do you get me? Like you're learning <laughs> to walk again. Yeah. So we have to understand, it's, it's, well, it doesn't work, it takes time. And Islam is a gradual thing, you know, you learn slow, 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 you learn it. Yeah. And, and, and that's very important. Even when it comes to learning your Arabic, you will take time. You will take time. You can't give up, but you will take time. You yes. try, you try, you try, you will learn. And that's why you need a teacher somewhere, someone to teach you. There are lots of questions that will come, but you have to know the answers. Otherwise, if you can't keep it in, you could ask someone. And that someone has to be who knows this religion, someone with the knowledge. Um, do you find it any, when you went to Indonesia, I'm talking about not the, uh, whatever you face, I want to know how people reacted with you that um, they know you're a Muslim, you're a very new Muslim. Did they try to teach you the different ideas or do this, do that? Da, da, da. Did they confuse you or anything? Um, Everybody knows, right? Everybody share. First, first of all, I want to know this part. When I go there first time, I remember everyone was watching me and my wife. And it uh, was so weird about uh, this, for me, about uh, these are watching me, like uh, I'm, I'm someone else. <laughs> and uh, yes, so many people was helping me a lot. So many people was praying, praying for me. And they try to teach me more, more and more about uh, Islam, about how it's work. What, what I have to do, what I cannot do. And they show, show me everything, every single path if I want. And um, I get uh, like help if uh, I need some help, just go to ask them. Did they, anyone confuse you? Like, you know, different people come with the different ideas. Do it like this, do that. Do this mosque, go to that mosque. Did they come like this, anything no. like that confused? Okay, fine, that's good. That's good to know because sometimes what happens is very easy to advise people. Yes. It's very easy. Brother, do this, do this, and then you don't do it yourself. So uh, this becomes a habit of easy to do it. Oh, he's new. Let me teach him something. Yeah. But have you learned that first? That's important. So thank you for your time today. Um, I really enjoyed okay. talking to you, sir. A very a natural way of talking and uh, sharing your uh, journey. Thank you very much. And um, may Allah bless you and your family, uh, your wife, yourself. And uh, would you like to say anything to our viewers in the camera? Say something to our viewers. Our viewers? Yeah, last word. What would you like to say? Don't be afraid about uh, to become mu Muslim. It's not a shame. It's big best for future. MashaAllah, Zakmullah Khairan. Dear brothers and sisters, um, Brother Loronto, MashaAllah, his journey was an amazing journey, very simple and you know, normal journey. But within this, you could see, SubhanAllah, amazing feelings he had and um, amazing, amazing relationship he made with the Muslim community himself. And uh, make dua for him and his family, and may Allah bless every one of us, and may Allah unite everybody's heart. Jazakumullah khairan for watching. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.